everybody. We are going to talk about Repo Man. Now, I'm not talking about the new movie. I'm talking about the 1984 movie with Emilio Estevez. <coughs> Excuse me. I found this on Hulu, but it's through the Stars app. So if you have Stars through Hulu, or if you just have the Stars station, then it possibly is on there. I'm not sure, but it is on Stars through Hulu. I could tell you that much. IMDb gives it a 6.9 out of 10. It has two repo men in LA and the strange items that they find, including an alien in the trunk of the car. And the alien is basically chased throughout the whole movie. And I am 90% sure that I got introduced to this movie through Joe Bob on Monster Vision back in the day. I am almost, I'm pretty sure I've got introduced to this. Because I remember falling in love with this movie, but I'm pretty sure it was through Joe Bob. <clears throat> and as this is the first time, the other day when I watched this, is the first day, or first time I've seen it since Monster Vision time. I'd actually forgotten about this movie until... I saw it pop up on Hulu, and I was like, I'm pretty sure I saw that on Monster Vision. And you get introduced to the alien, like, right away. And I love that the plain labels and stuff, they was not going for product placement in this movie. And I'm pretty sure, I want to say that was intentional, where you could kind of see the stuff, and legit just plain old thing, uh, packaging on there. It's almost like a... I want to say The Simpsons, but I don't know if The Simpsons did it because they had the Duff beer. But it's just a plain label that says beer. Um, I think some of the hard alcohol, you could tell what they were, but they didn't have the plain labels. But some of the snacks and stuff in the store was just plain labels. <clears throat> and, uh, and <clears throat> with it... <clears throat> I'm sorry, I really should have brought a drink up here with me. It teaches me to do multiple videos in a row and not bring a drink with me. And I'm pretty sure I've done some of the car maneuvers, like the car racing and whatnot, on GTA. Because I do play GTA 5 quite a bit. So if you got PlayStation 4, go check me out. I'm a Boomstick Girl 79 on PlayStation 4. I play GTA quite a bit. also play Dead by Daylight sometimes. But, yeah, I think it's because it's uh, L.A. That's why it looks so familiar. But some of the car chasing scenes and whatnot look really familiar. Or <laughs> it looks like something I've done in GTA. There's a woman with a met metal hand that legit puts a glove on it that looks like Michael Jackson. Because <laughs> she's, I don't know if it's the right hand because I don't remember what hand that Michael Jackson had the glitter glove. But she has one metal hand and she wears a glitter glove over top of it. And <laughs> she does take it off every now and then where you can see the hand underneath. But yeah, it's basically if Michael Jackson worked for the MIB <laughs> and she works for the MIB. I should put it that way. And the alien car at the end of the movie ends up glowing green. And it's just, if you ended up watching The Angry Red Planet and how bad they did the green on, or the red in that movie, it's basically how bad they did the green on this car. But it's just the car, not everything. It's just the car. It's just so extreme. And the movie has a crazy ending. <clears throat> and I this I remember this going a lot slower this time I watched it than what I remember watching it back at Monster Vision. But it was probably the Joe Bob breaks that kept me through this movie because I probably wouldn't have liked this movie and stuck with it if I wouldn't have made it to the end and seen the crazy ending. That is what made it enjoyable for me. And the aliens throughout the movie is interesting, but it takes so much time in between that it goes a lot slower than I remember. But like I said, I got introduced with Joe Bob. So, but yeah, definitely check it out. It's not one of my favorites. It used to be until I realized how slow it was without Joe Bob. But I'm still going to give it a 6 out of 10 because the ending is absolutely crazy and you should check it out. But yeah, definitely like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and have fun watching. Bye.